And now we have a hard line from Fasli in Pakistan. To our beloved master, 50 years ago I was born to a fisherman family living on a small island surrounded by a rough sea located an eight-hour boat ride from a coastal city in Pakistan. Following the family tradition, I started fishing and working the same way as previous generations. Thirteen years ago, during a freezing December night, I was really worried as I lay in my bed because I had no money to feed my kids. I cried and prayed to God to help me and my family. The next morning, we found a team of some volunteers wearing yellow jackets who bought us food, blankets, and sweets for the kids. I was so sure this help was sent by God as I prayed a lot the previous night. I asked them who sent this food, as in my mind it was sent by God. They showed me a picture of a very graceful lady with very much spiritual energy. Since that time, I had this feeling that there was some connection with God. After two years, the same team came back with similar winter items. I couldn't stop myself and asked the team to send my love and thanks to that lady. I was told by them that if I really want to thank Master, then I should become someone who doesn't kill animal people and doesn't eat animal people meat, because eating animal people causes more frauds and droughts. Although it was really hard for me, I tried it for two months as an experiment. I started feeling better health-wise and became a very positive person after giving up eating animal people meat and fish people. I was officially initiated after three years and more people got motivated and started joining our group. We have learned new skills to survive instead of fishing. Although there still was a struggle, we were happy as Master has always been there to send blessings and love. This year, Pakistan had the worst flood in its history, and millions of people were suffering without shelter in chilling winter nights, as we were suffering 13 years ago. We wanted to go help them and tell them that what we learned from Master had changed our lives, and if they would also turn to being vegan and to meditate, they could also help make the world a better place to live. After 10 years of initiation, I am proud to say that the kids in our family will be proud to tell their story that they were born into a family of vegans, all of whom are Master's disciples. We thank Master. Right now, there are 80 people in our fishermen village who have become vegan because of our saint's help and bringing Master's blessing to support 12 common saints to meditate together for old vegan, old peace, even during hard times, because the sea is getting higher and higher. I wish more people can be part of our vegan family and learn to live a positive life for themselves and others. We don't have enough words to thank Master for your unconditional support. Thanks, Master, for making us better humans. Fazli from Pakistan Mindful Fazli Thank you for sharing the incredible story of how you changed your life through the grace of our beloved Master. Master has a loving message for you. Devoted Vasli, I am touched by your story and how Allah answered your prayers. Oftentimes, difficulties cause us to turn to God wholeheartedly, and this is when miraculous things often take place. I am so glad that out of this experience, you turned your whole life around and became vegan and got initiation. You are an inspiration and have positively transformed your whole community. Please continue to practice well and share the vegan message with everyone you can, so that all disasters will end when world vegan, world peace has finally arrived. May you and the benevolent people of Pakistan live forever in Allah's protective shield. Please convey my love to all your brothers and sisters in the village, with God's forever grace. We welcome your hotline stories and your cute loving animal people clips. Please send them via suprememastertv.com forward slash hotline.